Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Ruby. We have the volume six soundtrack and uh, excited to get into this. We're gonna be using Flint of Ruby again and starting with Rising featuring Casey Lee Williams. Full screen this. Okay. <laughs> They grow so fast. The darkness cannot last. No hope. No I should have looked up the lyrics earlier on. So I could sing along now. The way Opening song. It's gonna be extended though. Yeah. Excellent, excellent song. I'm gonna miss this intro. And here it's new. Blake looks a lot taller than in this uh, fan art than I imagined she'd be. <laughs> Legs are super, super long. This series does have some really, really good songs. Bye bye. All right, that was fun. Oh no, Miracle, featuring Casey Lee Williams. All of them are featuring Casey Lee Williams. I'm guessing, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Miracle. This fan art is very interesting. Blake looks more cat-like than normal, than usual. Uh, Jean looks like a, I don't know, <laughs> anime protagonist in an RPG or something. As does Ren, actually.
I'm trying to place this song. Given the fan art, it's when they're all together, which isn't all that common. Maybe it was... Oh, oh, oh it's uh first episode when they were fighting on the train, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. This is not one of my more well-liked songs. I think it worked well as in the background of a fight, but not with the lyrics sung out loud. Not something I would listen to again on my own. Like, but uh, it's not bad. Ruby's smile is very cute in this one, though. In this fan art. One thing, Neo as a fan art. One thing. Is this maybe? I mean, Neo's only in so many scenes in Volume Six. Is this the fight between her and Cinder? I don't know why she blamed Ru uh, I don't know why she blamed Cinder for Roman's death. How is she singing this? It's internal uh, internal monologue her singing. She's singing it to her singing it to herself in her head. Getting revenge won't help with that, Neo. I like the little dissonance there. Da, 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 da. 
Unfortunately for her, Cinder is too powerful for her. Also gave her a different target though, with Ruby. Though honestly, like Roman was the one who attacked Beacon and attacked them, so her desire for revenge, I guess, I guess desire for revenge doesn't have to be logical. I feel like with Neo, we don't really have a good sense of her personality and what her motivations are besides the revenge. Like, I don't know. We haven't spent enough time with her, and we also just, yeah, don't know much about her. Like, if her story ends with her defeated, and I don't know how I'll feel about that. Like, I don't know how I feel about her as a villain. Obviously, there's a lot more to her backstory that we just don't know yet. Like, obviously, she was saved by Roman at some point. Um, he looked out for her. Possibly used her. Um, stop auto-playing. Nope, stop, stop it, stop it. Was that the next song anyway? Nope, it was not. But, uh, yeah, I'm curious about um, more of her backstory. All right, Adam Lionize. He's barely in the show until the fight between Blake and, or uh, he's barely in this volume uh, beyond the fight between Blake and Yang. So this might be from the short. I can't tell yet. This doesn't sound familiar. Or it doesn't sound like something I've listened to recently, so it might be from the short. As far as character design, though, uh, I, I know people have qualms about him as a character, but in terms of his visual design, it's pretty sick. He's very self-centered. I don't want to discount the pain he went through at all, but the way he channeled it. People don't exist in a vac vacuum, but I wonder what kind of person he would be if Faunus weren't oppressed. I mean, I've had thoughts about that as well. I mean, watching Black Panther, watch, seeing Wakanda, uh, wondering what people would be like from there if uh, they weren't abducted and taken as slaves. We don't know how people would be different and how their civilizations would be different. I guess the analogy here is him and Njadaka. They don't want equality, they want to be the ones on top.
except I guess Adam is much more about himself than Chidaka ever was. Kill Killmonger. I call him by his Wakanda name. I appreciate the lyrics. I don't know. So far, this uh, this volume's soundtrack has been a little mm, has missed me a little bit. Uh, not the greatest, uh, other than the opening. But we still have four songs left. Uh, Big metal shoe. I'm guessing, given the fan art, given the name of the song, it's Caroline and uh, versus Ruby, Team Ruby, and the rest. Dun, 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 dun. Yo Yo Leif, is that the artist? <laughs> Fighting children. Haha. <laughs> The, the lyrics are so corny, but it's actually kind of funny. Who will lose it all? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Lyrics in this are corny as heck, but... It's very amusing. <laughs> it's so, it's so, oh my god. like a weasel till you retreat <laughs> oh god the rapping uh. <laughs> wow <laughs> uh. Flying off the dope sheet? Oh, Caroline. She was a ridiculous character. I don't... I, doesn't feel like she'll come back anytime soon, but... Can I turn autoplay off? Where is it? Where is the option for autoplay? Eh, eh, I don't know. Can't find it. All right, Nevermore. And, you know, I realized this way, way too late, but SDC, SDC stands for Schneed Dust Company, which, wow. Surprising he never went after. Her. I don't think he had ever had a scene with Winter or exchanged words with her. I mean, not with Winter, with Weiss. Is the black and yellow meant to be who sings which part? I think the last song and this one are more my jam.
This is like a rebuttal to his song Lion Eyes. I actually appreciate, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, I, I appreciate that Blake's scar is, uh, not revealed, is exposed when she fights against Adam with Yang. Actually thinking now like what if Adam gave her a place to be she says uh, obviously she still had her family uh, but she had turned her back on them but her story is not unlike Neo's if Adam had died when she was still completely following him would she have taken a similar stance as Neo would she be focused on revenge Pitch than I thought it would. It does feel like the Fauna story is largely wrapped up. We didn't touch on it again on it really in Volume 6, other than Adam, and his quest for re revenge wasn't about the Fauna anymore, it was just about Blake. It did become way too much about himself than anything else. All right, uh, two more songs. I actually found this, uh, a, sh a shorter version of this uh, on Flint of Ruby, and I was going to listen to that until I realized it's like 34 seconds long and uh, found a five minute one long on his channel, so, or their channel. So let's check it out. Indomitable. Huh. <sighs> this is their original outfits. Oscar's here too? I, I, I'm assuming that's supposed to- oh no, it's- oh. Oh. It's meant to be Monty, isn't it? Uh, I was like, it's Oscar, because who else is a little- who, who else looks like a young kid here? But it's meant to be Monty, isn't it? Having trouble placing this song. Strength of 
the soul there's a light that shines and its power is mine so our bodies we can break up the spirit is in I like this fan art though. Look at Blake's face. It's like the semicolon and then the three. That emoji. And then Weiss's smirk is kind of fantastic. <laughs> When Ruby used the silver eyes, appreciate the throwback of this uh, artwork, though. <laughs> I can't get over their faces. It's great. Man. Oh, well, that was. Nope, stop playing. Stop. That was sad. All right, rest in peace, Monty. And last song. Ah, oh, rest in peace, Pura. Forever Fall. It's a short song. This will never not be sad. Once, like a dream, Maybe I'll put the volume higher for this one. fall in love for life others never get it right love's fickle when it calls one thing that i know for sure 
That art is pretty beautiful. It's really beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, why here? She trained here. Oh. Stop. All right. Oh, that was a sad note to end on. Two pretty sad songs to end on. Rest in peace, Monty. Rest in peace, Pura. All right, guys. Uh, on to volume seven. Looking forward to that. Seeing what we have store, uh, what we have in store for our characters in Atlas. So yeah, leave a like. Really helps out the channel. And I will see you next week with volume seven. We are one week ahead of our on Patreon. So if you're watching this on YouTube, we've already started it over there. All right, guys. I will see you guys soon. Bye, friends.